Minister for Mobilization, Implementation and Transformation, Andy Williams, is given the assurance that once the St. John's River flood mitigation project is complete, this will be the end of flooding in the River Road area. The minister and his team visited the site earlier Wednesday following heavy downpours overnight that led to the river bursting its banks in some parts and flooding homes. Phases 3 and 4 of the project are already completed and showing signs that they have, to an extent, achieved their purpose. The team from the MIT came to look at the project today because we saw the overflowing of water into the road. Right? And it is understandable because we have about three more packages to go out which will complete the road. So for now, where the water is coming from, those areas have to be tended. Uh, as a matter of fact, the tender is out already. So once the construction is done at, at that segment of the road, the flooding will stop. So we are very confident that this project here will stop the flooding in the road because where it has already been completed, we are seeing improvements and there's no water going into the road or so. With work presently ongoing on two other phases, the recent flooding will create some setbacks. However, Junior Latouche, Quality Control and Safety Manager at Creative Designs, says there is no need to be fearful. The citizens of Grenada shouldn't be worried about the wall because the best and the engineer they did a good job in designing the height of the wall. The height of the wall is, I mean, it's going to take the volume of the water. It's, it's, I mean, it's acceptable. Creative Designs is doing a good job as well. We understand the river, we understand the, the, the scope of works. Um, I don't see no reason why the citizens of Grenada should worry. So, um, you can see from what you see now, that the water is flowing nice and smooth, and once the, the project is finished, everything would come back to normal. During Tuesday's sitting of the Upper House, private sector representative Senator Salim Rahman questioned the government's allocation towards the St. John's River flood mitigation project. Would it be enough? A particular question is with regard to the St. John's flood control project. Uh, that 11,500,000, if it would see it to completion, and um, if that completion um, would be along the cemetery because I notice that at the bottom of the cemetery I have an, a property that is adjacent and I notice that when it floods um, the water comes in at the bottom of the cemetery there and um, no work has yet commenced on that part. So I'd just like to get some clarification on that. Business leader in the Senate Adrian Thomas told Senator Rahman that he could not confirm if his concern area was covered under the project. However, Senator Claudette Joseph provided a response. Yes, Honorable Senator Rahman, work has to be done in the area by the mouth of the river that is affecting private property, including property belonging to your family. So that is something that has to be taken into account. As my learned friend indicated, I, I believe, but I cannot say with certainty, that the $11.5 million sought here now will cover that. But I know within the scope of works going forward, um, that issue is under consideration.